this is Hobblefan1221 here going over an in-depth tutorial of how to use the Nexus Mod Manager that you download off the Nexus site. So to begin with, let's start from the very beginning and work our way to the very end. So f starting off, if you want to install the Nexus Mod Manager because it has a lot of useful tools inside of it, a lot of useful applications you can use it for, you just go right here to install Nexus Mod Manager and then I'll have the latest version 0 0.46.0 there and click download now. It will appear as a RAR file to, to download. Um, I'll, put, I'll put the link for RAR in the description. Next thing you want to do is if you have a mod that you want to download, and like like mine did for whatever reason, your Nexus Mod Manager screws up. It doesn't allow you to use the download with manager option. Like you that you click it, and for whatever reason the program crashed. Just go to right click the shortcut, go to properties, go to shortcut, go to advanced. Then click Run as Administrator, and then it'll take it off and give this little blue and yellow shield next to it. And that way, when you double click it, you'll click Yes. And then, and then, it'll, and then, when you first run this, it'll ask you to. Um, it'll show a list of all the games they support, like it's doing now, and try and find the locations of all of them, which is doing right now. So, and then if it when it automatically finds them, just click a check right next to it. Check, check and check and then go through the rest of them and click X X X X X until they're all done and then just click OK and so now you have your games listed here that you will uh, be modding so I'm going to click OK on one of them and it'll load up it may take a little while so I will pause the video here until it starts okay now that uh, New Vegas Nexus Mod Manager well, is open now, me running Fallout New Vegas. I will show you the uh, runaround of this program, because I think it's very useful, more than Fallout Mod Manager, that's my opinion. Um, anyway, first off, what you're going to have when you first open it is plugins. All it's going to have is Fallout New Vegas right here, and then any DLC you have, follow after that. Uh, it's going to be all plugins, plugins for the mods you have. So... Anything that has a designated .esm file attached to it has to go above anything that has a .esp file, such as such as this. Anything with a .esp has to come below .esm. Uh, this button di disables all the active plugins. This one enables all of them. Uh, it exports it or imports a load order from some place you've already made. This exports the one you currently have. This is how you can um, launch, how you choose it, launch New Vegas Circuit Center, and how to launch Fallout New Vegas, or you launch a custom New Vegas, which is what I do. I'll be showing you that in another video. Uh, this is where you can reset the um, UI to the default layout if you changed it. Uninstall all the, all the mods in your game currently. Activate or disactivate archive invalidation, which is what I have. Open folders, open the game folder. Open mods folder, open install info, and these are the settings. These will take you through. Uh, add shell extension for supported file types. Check that off. That means it's going to add anything that's not a foam mod that is like you've designed it for follow, but doesn't have the foam mod extension. It'll add that. Check for how many, uh, an interval of days, how many you want for it to up, check for mod updates and for new mod versions. Close the Nexus after launching. Scan mod directory subfolders for mods. Hide mod update warning icon, which I'll show you in a second. Mod options. Format 7-zip, zip, gzip, whatever. Ultra, compression level, download options. US East Coast, which, whichever you're closest to. I'm US East Coast, so. If you, if you are premium, you, you'd have access to this. Fallout to Vegas itself. The mod directory, install info, Vegas directory, Launch command, arguments, custom commands, and stuff like that. So everything's good there. Uh, anything you do change in here will have to come with a restart. So now let's go over to the mods tab. This is going to, now once you click on the mods tab, it will show you the progress of a bar. They're updating the info from different mods. See if checking for new versions um, and seeing if there are any. Updating mod info, getting online updates, and now and then it's checking Baby Death Claw Commander currently, and it'll check all the other mods. So I'll come back to you when this is finished. Okay, once your uh, mod page has opened, you will come to this exact screen right here. And uh, oh, 
sorry, one more thing before I go. Um, this button right here updates the Nexus. This switches to different games that you want. Change default game, rescan all the installed games. This logs out, and this is for help that if you get further stuck. Anyway, this is um, the next page you're coming to. So I'll start here and work my way down. So this is to add mod from a file, from a file you download it to. It's download to a folder, so you add it to. Click add mod from file, or add from a URL. Let's go add from file. You can go to a folder wherever you have your mods. So let's say you want to go to mods, shortcut, whatever. This is for World of War. Anyway, you just click on something. If it's in the proper format, it'll be downloaded. This is how you activate a mod if you click on it. Like, if I clicked on the Vegas Uncut, they click how to activate the mod. This deletes the mod. This gets missing inf missing info for the mod. This checks for new mod versions when you click on that specific mod. This is how you toggle the mod endorsement. This is how you add a new category if you want to. Collapse categories, expand all of them. Set Nexus de defaults, all mods unassigned. Categories, move all categories. Toggle hidden categories. Anyway, switches to the mod manager views if you wanted to. <coughs> so anyway, then this is the download manager. When you um, click on download from manager, like click here, it'll ask you if you can access this program right here. Click yes, and then it'll pop up down here. The name of the mod, the size of it, the status of what it is, the speed it's downloading at, and the ETA of when it's going to be finished. And then this here are all the names of the categories. And when you click on it, you can expand the card by clicking on this little plus and, and to minus it again to get rid of it. And this will tell you all the mods you have in that current category. When you, when you download them from the Nexus Mod Manager, when you click on this button right here, Download with Manager, they'll pop up in a category. Um, if they don't, they'll become right here to unassigned. This is when you add them from a file other than downloading from the Nexus Mod Manager. They'll be in this file right here. Uh, called unassigned. So if that's you, if you're looking for mods, that's where they are. Um, I think that's everything that I can go over for the next mod manager for version 0 0.46.0. So if you guys had a, um, if this helped you out because you're new to the whole modding scene, if this helped you out with the Nexus mod manager. Please give me a, a like and a favorite, and a, hopefully a, a subscribe if I deemed worthy enough. And uh, have a great.